Good morning, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your fave, Alicia, and welcome back to another day in the life of a college professor. So good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday, October the 17th and I am just going to give my real and raw feelings right now. So you know I love bringing you guys with me on my teaching journey and this morning I'm about to start a new mini journey I guess you could say but I am just feeling so nervous and I just want to talk to you all about it just because you guys are my family and you love watching these videos so let's do it okay so I was asked to take over a class for a colleague of mine who unfortunately couldn't finish out teaching one of our social work courses um, and I was asked probably about a month ago so they gave me time to think about it um, they did say that I would get X pay so, so X pay is money outside of what you already make from your salary um, so for me that's just like extra money to teach this class um, so it is a general practice class so it's just like a general social work class that I'll be teaching Teaching. and at first I was a bit nervous and I'm like oh you know cuz I'm only one year into teaching you know so I'm still learning a lot um, but from a business aspect I started to think about it and I'm like yeah you know I really should teach this class first off just to be a team player you know because my colleague needed someone to teach this class so first off I wanted to be a team player and then second off for like a business aspect you know it'll look good on my resume to have teach like multiple classes that I haven't already taught before so I said you know what this will be really good for me to teach another class and get some more classes under my belt um, just to expose me to more students that I haven't yet taught before right it's just many reasons why it would be good for me to take on another class I mean and you know I get paid extra so you know we always like a little bit more money so <laughs> but today is finally the day that I am going to teach the class so it is an in-person class it's only once a week and it is two and a half hours <laughs> so yeah I have taught two and a half hour classes before um, but I'm just not teaching any this semester like my classes that I currently teach right now are only an hour and a half so with that being said that's another reason why I'm like oh okay you know but anyways you guys I'm just feeling so nervous because I just really hope that the and this is just me being raw and uncut I just really hope the students like me you guys like and I know you guys are probably like oh my gosh why would they not like you I don't know listen it's just you know how it is you guys like when you start something new it can be kind of scary and that's how I'm feeling right now um I do have a lot of confidence in myself I have a lot of confidence in my skills but I mean I have to be honest to say that doesn't mean I can't get nervous you know and I'm feeling nervous I kind of tossed and turned all night I was like reading my PowerPoint over um like all night just trying to make sure I remember everything and today is the day so I'm just trying to like wipe away these nerves and say you got this girl like you got this like I'm gonna walk and talk with you guys and tell you more about it but I'm gonna put my jacket on because it's chilly outside and we're gonna head to the classroom and hopefully um and I'm gonna let you guys see the classroom and all that you guys know I love showing you my journey so but so that I'm not tardy let's get going and I'm gonna keep talking to you guys on my walk there okay hey you guys I'm back sorry I was not able to talk to you guys as I was walking because I saw a student and we just started chatting but I just got finished with my class you guys and it went way better than expected I know you I was telling you guys in the car that I was just so nervous because I just felt like would they like me um just because for me I feel like because I didn't begin this class out like I didn't teach this class from the beginning of the course so from August and I'm kind of like intercepting and coming in the middle of the class you know that some students might feel away right because they might have a really good connection with the professor that was leaving so that might um, have an impact on their relationship with me but you know what now that I'm thinking about it out loud that's just crazy talk like it went fine the students enjoyed the class I enjoyed the class like we had a great class discussion we did group work we did case studies like it went well but you guys like I told you guys you are on this journey with me so I just had to be transparent and say that like I could not sleep last night you guys like I was just so nervous I was just thinking about the class like oh my gosh I just hope I do okay and a part of that reason too is like I was trying to say is I said this before in my last vlog like in order to 
teach you got to know the material right so I couldn't teach my son how to tie his shoe if I didn't know how to tie my shoe right so for me these last four weeks it's been a lot of trying to ingest the information again relearn it learn new ways to teach it and to also just teach it in a way that students are able to receive it well right because it's one thing to stand up in front of a class and just teach 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 lecture 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 but if it's going in one ear and out the other then you know so I like to try to make my lectures as fun and relatable as possible and you know in a more appropriate way so I think I was able to do that because one of my students um, from another class she's also in this class she came up to me and she was like this went great just to let you know so I was like thank you I just love when my students give me feedback like it helps me so much <laughs> so let me show you guys my classroom because again the class is over wait let me show you let me give you guys an outfit check so outfit as you can see I have on tones of brown and orange and I just have on some green pants and my brown boots but let's look at my classroom so this is my classroom. It was a full class, you guys. It was packed out. I was so excited that all the students came. And here is my presentation. Well, this isn't my presentation. This is actually the textbook. So here's my presentation, which I had been working on this. So today we kind of went into like child maltreatment, child abuse, things like that. So yeah, this is what my presentation was. And like I said, it went great. So I don't even know why I was so nervous. <laughs> but I just get that way, you guys. It's fine. So something I want to work on that I noticed that adds into why I'm always so nervous um, when I first meet students is I just have a really country twang, you guys. And I realize it. And sometimes when I pronounce words, I feel like it comes out so country. And I just... I myself I'd be like oh my goodness I'm hearing myself talk and I'm like why do you sound so country girl like I want to seriously take another communications class and learn how to pronounce my words a lot better than what I do um, I did take a communications class when I was in college um, and that's something that we worked on but I didn't really take it serious you know what I'm saying I was 20 so it wasn't really a big deal I'm like who needs to learn how to pronounce words but now I understand why it's super important like like if you notice people who do public speaking they have great public speaking voices right and that is what I want to learn more like how to have a better public speaking voice because it helped me feel more confident and then I feel like students will be able to understand me more and really it's really for me though because I do think because most of the students that's in my class you know we're all from Kentucky so we kind of have that country accent so they can under so I'm sure they understand me but for me personally I would just like to have a better public speaking voice for myself and I also want to look into a public speaking class too because I have a lot of filler words in my vocabulary my biggest one is um like sometimes when I'm even watching my YouTube videos back I'm like why are you saying the word um so much Alicia like it's so annoying you guys and I hear myself doing it a lot when I'm um, doing lectures in my class and I really want to get rid of those filler words I really don't know how to but I know that if you take like a public speaking class or a communication class they can kind of teach you skills to kind of work through that so that's another reason why I'm highly looking into taking a class and just learning how to get rid of these filler words that I have so I don't know that's just something I've been thinking about and I'm thinking about taking a communication class so I think that'll be fun so I'm gonna keep you guys um, posted on if I do take that class or not so my students got to leave about 10 minutes early today woohoo for them um, all that I'm about to do is probably head back to my office and do some work catch up on some grading catch up on whatever I need to catch up on you guys know I like making my to-do list and going through that to-do list and getting it all done but that's it you guys I'm not gonna talk your heads off in this day of the life professor vlog um definitely comment down below and give me some more um questions or what do you guys want to see next in these vlogs you guys know i'm just here to motivate and inspire you and also take you on this journey with me because i know so many of you also want to be a college professor so i just love doing these videos for you and i truly appreciate you for watching this video so please right now give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and that's it i will see you guys in my next video peace